brother's colors always reminds me of the unknown. <laughs> and when I look at his paintings mostly, I see him dancing in space. <laughs> really speak to him. It's how I think he differentiates the world. It's how he reads the world, you know, through color. Yeah, it's part of his mystery <laughs> that um, we might never understand. This is Andrew Mbata, my son. was born in Kenya in a city called Machakos. Mother had brain damage caused by a very difficult birth, which meant that he has now intellectual disability and autism, and um, he can't speak. see in his paintings that he's able to express himself, express his freedom. I see somebody saying, you know, hurrah, I am free. <laughs> Sense of being who he wants to be. When he is in this space of painting and in this space of music. It's like I'm doing my thing. I'm in my own world. I don't care who you are. I'm just having fun. And again, I can relate it to his freedom, you know, his way of, of being free from his locked world. Brightness of colors sometimes I would say shows, you know, the sunshine in his heart <laughs> or the happiness in him. And sometimes probably the sadness that he feels. As he's looking, he likes doing that because he he wants to, he's reading my eyes. He likes reading people's faces. He listens to feelings more than, um, than words, yeah. just swimming on these waves <laughs> in the galaxies, you know, far away from this world. Dancing on the gravitational waves there with all the beautiful colors. We have got this massive unknown inside us. And the, and the massive unknown up there. And brother brings that close. <laughs> Isn't it, brother? Yeah. You're a very good man. <laughs>